Hello everybody, I am Tony. Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, special welcome to you. Today we are going to be doing a get ready with me. Really quick before I start, I want to go over the rules of the giveaway I have going on right now because I keep getting asked or I get the wrong entries. So before I even start, please listen to this. If you don't listen to anything else, if you don't watch the the get ready with me or whatever just listen to this okay i can stop the giveaway at any time for any reason i'm not going to but just in case i can um you have to have a mailing address in the united states um you must be subscribed you must like or unlike each video i just want feedback basically um you have to do that regardless. And then um, you have to comment. In that comment, sometime during every video, I will suggest that you put in an emoji or a certain word in your comment. And for you to get an entry into the giveaway for that specific video because you have a chance to get into the giveaway for each video I put up until October 31st until midnight October 31st um you have to put that emoji or that word in the comment for it to count or it will not count at all if for whatever reason I forget to put a comment in the video. Like if I just black out, have a bad day and forget, it will either be in the description box or a pinned comment or both. So there should be no reason why you guys can't comment and put an emoji or comment and put a word of whatever in the um the comment section that's it so i'm gonna get into my get ready with me now um sorry i had to be like really blunt about that but like i'm getting a whole bunch of people asking me questions and stuff like that and honestly like I really care about you guys and I do giveaways and stuff because I want to um I want to do stuff for you and I want to have rewards for you guys whenever you know you have friends sign up for the channel and things along those lines um so um, right now, just so you know, I'm putting on some Estee Lauder double wear and hopefully that's enough because I want to put the cap on it. I don't want it to fall. Okay, so, but, you know, I, it's not that I don't have time for it because obviously I do, but at the same time, like, I don't think, I think that, like, if I'm having a giveaway and, you know, I want to give away, you know, $1,000 in products, I shouldn't have to sit there and answer a ton of people and be like, you know, um, you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do this. Like, your entry doesn't count unless you do this. Like, I don't want to do that. So, that's that. But anyway, we're just going to get into everything else. Um, so, I showed you guys a picture yesterday of what is going to be provided in the giveaway. So, I'd love for you to tell me... Um, uh, what you think of what's in the giveaway. Like, I try pretty hard to 
I hope my powder will balance this out because I'm using a powder that I haven't used in a while. And I hope it just balances it out a little bit. All right. There goes that. Okay, so we're going to be bougie today. I got out my Chantikai. Look at this thing. Is that not the most beautiful powder in the world? This is like three-dimensional, and it doesn't just look that way. It is that way. There's like four different heights of flowers. They put so much work into this, and it had a really beautiful embossing on it. You can still see the edges of it, but... I'm, this is the most expensive powder I own, and this is probably the most expensive powder I will ever own, because, like, I don't think I'm ever going to spend more than $80 on a powder again. Hopefully, Matt isn't watching this, my fiance. Um, I bought this quite a while ago, um, and when I say quite a while ago, I mean, like, last year, so, um, don't come at me, Matt. <laughs> the only thing that I think they could have done with this, like, I know they gave you the bougie packaging for a reason, but, um, they could have given you, like, some kind of puff or, like, applicator with it for 80 bucks. But, you know, I bought it. So, but, like, I watch a channel called Teresa is Dead. And if you guys are open-minded, but like your beauty stuff, um, you should check out her channel. She is quite vulgar, but she is freaking hilarious. She's great at doing makeup, and she is just a wonderful, lighthearted person who has a sailor's mouth. So, you guys honestly should check her channel out. She is really wonderful, and she has a great heart. And when I see really great people, I try to point them out to other people. I dropped some more, some products, and I don't want them on the floor. Okay, so this product is not new. This is my Marc Jacobs um, Tantastic Bronzer that I always use. Oh, we're a little pigmented today. <laughs> I just choked on it. <laughs> Only me. You know? Only me. I kept this out for a reason because I knew I was going to need it. There we go. Okay, sorry I'm putting stuff back in my makeup bag. Now I'm going to go into my Kaleido Space Age Gifted. No, not that. Another new product, but it's a mini. This is the Butter Blush in... This is their Muru Muru Baby Butter Blush. And we're going to see what this looks like. It looks like it has a sheen to it. It does. Quite beautiful. Okay. As I'm like annoyed somebody just left me a message with um a whole bunch of emojis in it <laughs> i don't mean to be like annoying or anything i just like 
want to have a giveaway and have it be normal and nice and all that stuff. I don't want to be mean. You know what I mean? Yes, you know what I mean. But this is from Kaleidos. This is so freaking beautiful. And I love stuff like this around Halloween because I can wear it and I don't get looked at strange. And, like, throughout the rest of the year, my fiancé will, like, yell at me and be like, your highlight is too much. You could see that from the sky. But he leaves me alone around Halloween. But I have been doing a lot better with my makeup. Like, um, I've noticed that I've been getting better with my makeup and not just any makeup but like my eye makeup and stuff so there's all that um I'm gonna go in and do my brows real quick and then we will go into my eyeshadow palette I got a new eyeshadow palette and guy you have got to see this like I'm so excited to show it to you I got a palette that I've used in at least one video, but I've done my eyes with it countless times now. And not really countless times because I haven't really had it that long. I've only had it a few weeks, but it was so bomb and so good. Like I went back to the company and bought another palette and their palettes are expensive. When I say expensive, I'm talking like 60 bucks. So, um, they're not like Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona expensive, but they're definitely expensive. I mean, 60 bucks is no joke to spend on a palette. Plus you have to pay shipping and all that fun stuff. But like I said, it was so good. I had to get this palette and I didn't totally understand what I was buying when I got it until I was watching a Teresa is Dead video, as funny as that is, because I was just talking about her. Um, and I found out that the palette has a bunch of graphic liners in it. I just thought they were like double shadows. Because I have seen in certain palettes, there are double shadows. Um, I've seen it quite a bit with the color, but it's like black and white. Like Too Faced did it in one of their palettes. I've seen it done a couple times where they split a pan with two colors. And I thought that's what I was doing, like buying but they're actually graphic liners. So not only are we gonna do an eye look today, we're gonna play with graphic liners, which I don't have a whole ton of experience with, but we're gonna do it anyway, because that's how I roll. Okay, so anyway, for my brows, because I'm telling you guys everything anyway, I use my um, clear brow gel from Anastasia and then I used my Benefit Brow Zing. This is almost gone and I'm gonna have to buy the big palette of this which is like 45 freaking dollars. 45 bucks to do my eyebrows. That sounds outrageous to me. Okay so I'm gonna real quick let me um just push this stuff into my face so it'll last even though I'm going to take it off in like a half hour. I just don't feel right unless I do this. Okay, so everything is pushed in my face. Let's just make sure it's all good. There we go. 
Okay, just in case you're wondering, this is the e.l.f. Active Post-Workout Cool-Down Mist. It's just a spray. I actually like this a lot, believe it or not. I don't know if it's still available or not, but this is a really nice face spray. And I think it was like three bucks. So to start with, this is the palette that I got a couple weeks ago that I have been using on the daily with my singles and stuff because it is just such an amazing palette. This is a palette from, they used it from Beetlejuice, obviously, because it looks like that. Hopefully, yeah, you guys can see it. It's called Strange and Unusual. And this is by the Bella Beauté Bar. And it looks like this. Freaking gorgeous, I know. Um, and like I said, I loved it so darn much. I went back to their website and I got this. This is called the Celestial Garden. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's really beautiful. Um, I have touched a couple of these shadows. I haven't touched much. This is what it looks like. Um, I might dip into both for a darker shade out of the one palette because it has like blacks in it, but I'm mainly gonna stay with this one and I'm gonna work with the purple, sh like this purple row. Um, the black in here is a graphic liner and I really wanna do like a dark purple eye and I'm pretty sure not positive but i'm no i'm positive this is either a duochrome or a multi-chrome this purple here so we're gonna prop this open and then i'm gonna i got too much stuff on my table too much stuff going on okay so let me prop the other palette open and then I have all my brushes right here in the middle <clears throat> um okay so let's grab a brush this one looks good this is a LaRousse LR100 concealer brush I love these so much to use above my crease which I do first, and I don't know why. I'm going to go in with the color Night Phlox. All the colors in this palette are... Um, uh, flower names. And then the graphic liners are Moon. Or like astrological type of names. So, just so you guys know, um, okay, I don't want to go up too high and I don't want to go out too far because I do want to blend this a little bit, but I don't know what I'm going to do about the graphic liner yet. Like I said, I don't have a whole ton of experience with the graphic liner. <sighs> Sorry. I know that that's really weird that I do that, but, um, that's how I get my fallout off a lot of the time. So, this color is super, super, super pigmented. So, let me take this and round it off a little bit. I think that looks really beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the other eye, and I'm just basically taking this and swiping it across. I'm not doing anything intricate or hard to do. I'm just taking this across my upper crease, and the only thing that is really hard for me to describe is when I'm doing an eye look, um... 
I, uh, I don't know how to describe what you do if you have a different eye shape because I don't know what it's like to have a different eye shape. So basically going above my crease, I have really, really hooded eyes. So going above my crease is like a super big thing. Um, it, <sighs> okay. I got to show you guys my nails. They're so cute, but, um, only going to show you for a second because, um, I actually did a video and I'm going to show you guys how I decorated them in the video tomorrow. Well, maybe not tomorrow. I'll have it up within the next two days. I'll say that. I think that I'm not going to do a video a day until the end of the giveaway. I'm going to take Saturday or Sunday off. I'm not sure which one, but one of those two days I'm going to take off so that I don't have to do a video every single day. But, um, because I am absolutely not used to that. Okay. There goes that. Now let me take this in my color switch and Get all that purple out of there. I wouldn't know what to do without a color switch. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Now I'm going to take the... This is from the Elf and Jay Kissa collab number two, I think. This is the J4 miniature blending brush. And I'm just going to take this on the edge and I'm going to blend. And I'm just making mini circles. And I'm probably going to make this too darn high. But <clears throat> I'm wiping it off so that it doesn't have any of that purple color on there anymore. Because <sighs> I want it to be a little bit lighter on the edge. All right. I think that looks really good. Okay. Now I need to do the same thing over here. And that didn't take nearly as long as it did on the other side. Okay. So same thing in the color switch. All right. Now... Let's see. I'm just going to put this through the color switch anyway because I don't know what I used it on last time. Okay, this is a Luxie 211 concealer brush. I love concealer brushes. Seriously, I use them for everything. Um, okay, let's see. I am going... Actually, no, I'm not. I was going to use a palette, a different palette for my, um, brow bone and my inner corner, but I'm not because there's a color in here I can use. Okay. So now I'm going to go into the color Jasmine, which is that blue, purple, multi-chrome, duo-chrome. I'm not sure yet. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh. Okay. Got to do something real quick. I'm going to put black on my eye and I'm probably going to get a ton of fallout. But it is going to make this eye look so much better. Trust me. Trust me big time. Okay, so um, while I have this in the dark, let's just go into the black and put it on the other eye on the whole lid. Mm. 
this is the color Adam out of the Strange and Unusual palette. It is a black with teal sparkles in it, but the teal sparkles really don't show up at all. Okay, so I got a little bit of black fallout that doesn't want to come off, which I hate. But what are you going to do? I'll put some powder there. Okay, so now I'm going to put this through my color switch. I'm going to go on to the other side from the black. And I'm going to go back into that color Jasmine. And we're going to put this on top. Oh my goodness. Wow. Alright. This is not purple anymore. Um, this is a blue to purple shift, which is out of this world. Can you see that? Like, I hope you guys are seeing this like I am. I know that I'm going to have to add a little bit of blue, which I don't have in front of me, I don't think. Um... What am I going to do? We'll figure it out. Well, maybe I'll make it work. Um, if not, I'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, this is just the prettiest color ever. I mean, the blue, it just, like blings off your eyes so beautifully okay i'm gonna go into the color tombstone out of the um the other palette oh my god this is a soft freaking shadow i'm gonna have to repress this i didn't mean to go into it all like that um that is really pretty it's a like a purplish black <laughs> okay hold on that is my nail brush i don't want a nail brush i want my powder brush where did it go there it is okay Now I have super fallout. If I have to, like, I'll go back in with more powder, which I think I'm going to have to. Um, just give me this. I just grabbed my um, Too Faced Peach Perfect uh, loose setting powder. I dropped some nail gems on the floor at the same time. That's much better. Okay, I still look like I got punched, but it's better. Okay, I'll live with it and I'll fix it more when I'm done. So, I am going to, hmm, let's see, I'm grabbing the closest thing I can to turn this look into something that kind of resembles something cohesive. Um, I'm trying to save this and make it nice okay i grabbed a different brush this is just a regular brush that i got off amazon it looks like a concealer brush and the palette i grabbed is the naked cosmetics highlighter palette i know you're like highlighter palette 
I'm going to take the blue out of here and blow it off a little bit and just take it lightly and go over this. And I'm just lightening it up and then it's going to bring a little bit, just a little bit of a blue hue over top of the purple. So I do have an all shimmer look, but that's not a surprise to anyone. Um, you guys know me. Come on now. I could wear glitter from head to toe and I would have a field day. Uh, I can't wait to do my Halloween look. I am going to, um, do the whole look on camera and that's so much better like it made the purple so much lighter but it gave it a blue tinge so that the blue looks good now i'm gonna just real quick in my color switch i'm gonna take that brush and go back and forth um again i'm gonna go into my peach perfect stuff from too faced this isn't available anymore. I'm sorry for using it on my channel, but like I gotta use it or it's never gonna go away. All right, so I'm just taking this and I'm trying to, there we go, get rid of that black eye, which I just did. I forgot to grab a color for my um, eyes, but that's okay. My eyeliner, I mean, not my eyes. <clears throat> okay. So, this is what my eye looks looks like so far. Don't fall over, please. Okay, so I'm going to close up the Strange and Unusual palette. Because I'm done with that. And then I'm going to go in to I have a BH Cosmetics mini itty bitty little brush I don't have a name for it or anything like that but just a teeny tiny little brush I have one like this from um, Lunar Beauty too and I'm gonna go on the inner corner if possible with the shade Queen of the Night which is turning out a little different than I thought it would be. Maybe I accidentally went over the black in the color switch. Let's find out. Yes, I did. But I think I got it now. So. Okay. Let me grab a different brush. That'll make me feel a little bit better. Okay, this is obviously for your eyebrows, but I feel much better using this than using that other brush because it needs to be washed. So this is the shade Queen of the Night and it is a duochrome white pink shade. It is absolutely stunning. It would make a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. And then we're going to take this and I'm going to go across my brow bone. This is long for a get ready with me video. I'm, I apologize. This is more like a uh, tutorial style video. So like I said, I apologize, but you know, sometimes it just has to be that way. So... All right, there's that. Now, a um, couple more things and I'll be done and out of your hair and I won't bother you anymore for the rest of the day, I promise. Real quick, nail call. Check these out. Awesome or not. I'm so excited. Wait till you guys see the video. Okay. I have a 
lavish or no this is a moda i can't read it this is a teeny 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 tiny brush and i'm going to take this elf spray and i'm going to wet the heck out of it i'm going to go into the color hmm um celestial which is a lighter purple um graphic liner and hopefully i won't screw this up too bad we'll see i'm gonna try <laughs> Now I did, I do have a little bit of darker stuff underneath, but what are you going to do? Seriously. I mean, it's not going to be perfect for me. I'm trying. I'm not used to a uh, graphic liner at all. So we're just doing what we think would be work good enough for now um let me spray this again and wet this you need a decent amount of water like when you use graphic liner to make it show up and be good especially when you're working with pastels over dark colors <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for a second and let me get all that color out of there. Now, for my lips, I have to use something that I got sent to me. I haven't used it yet, so bottoms up. All right, gotta love it. Okay, so now that I gave my eyes a moment to dry, I'm gonna grab an eyeliner and some mascara. So, um, I know the black lipstick is a bit much for most of you, but for me, honestly it's what I feel best in I feel so comfortable in like crazy lipstick it's insane um there is another look that I got asked to do um that I did the other day and I wasn't on camera at all and you guys didn't get to see it so i'm going to do another look with the strange and unusual palette in a get ready with me where i already have my makeup done it's just my eyes it'll just be like an eye thing but um that was the fenty beauty full frontal mascara and just in case you were wondering, this is huh, the color Doo Doo in um, By Juvia's Place. Gotta love the name, right? And I will be using the um, 
purple from the Lucky Charms Morphe Collection eyeliner. It is a really pretty purple metallic eyeliner. I really like this color and I thought it would go good with not only the blue but the purple also and I think it looks good. So I am just over the moon with um these colors i am a little bit unhappy about this inner corner because it looks dark from that brush being used with black but what am i gonna do you know it's too late now obviously um real quick i am gonna go i got this BH Pro, I don't know, short little stubby brush. I'm going to go back into that purple jasmine shade, the blue one, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to just outline underneath my eye, just really slightly. And then we're done. I'm sorry I kept you here forever. Oh my god, I made you guys wait this long for the emoji. Okay, I'm going to put it in a pinned comment and I'm going to put it in the description box because I really don't want you guys to have to watch this whole darn video just to see me say at the very end that I would love you to put in a black emoji so it matches my lips. <laughs> Anyway, um, I love and appreciate each and every one of you very, very much. Um, I hope you are all having a wonderful day. Um, wherever you are, whatever time of day it is, I hope you're having a great one. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. I should have this nail video up within a day or two. All right, guys. Bye.